two types of gun violence crimes that we see in Elgin are aggravated discharge of a firearm and reckless discharge of a firearm. Reckless discharge of a firearm is when somebody shoots a gun and it happens to endanger the life or safety of somebody else, like shooting a gun up into the air. I got hit by a bullet, a stray bullet from, I don't know which way it came, left, right. I don't know where it came. All I know is that it hit me. When I arrived on scene, Jasmine was shot in the face. She was bleeding heavily. Her heart had stopped and she had no pulse and she uh, wasn't breathing. I had a tracheotomy, a, a halo. I had feeding tubes. Jasmine is a fighter. Jasmine saved her life. I was there to help. This was one of the worst days of my life, all because of somebody was out shooting the gun recklessly, didn't know what they were doing. We don't know where the shot came from. Were they shooting in the air or were they shooting at something? You know, we don't know unless we find bullet holes in a house or a vehicle or there's a victim. We responded out to a call of shots fired earlier this year and through our investigation, we determined that the top of a car had been damaged by gunfire, meaning that a bullet shot up into the air came down through the roof of the car. Thankfully, nobody was in the car and nobody got hurt. But what went up came back down. Often on shots fired calls, we only get one or two calls in a uh, densely populated area. I would encourage neighbors, if you see something, if you hear something, please call us. If you see somebody lurking around your house, your car, your neighbor's house, your neighbor's car, call us. I encourage people to call the police. If you see any gun, people playing with guns, call the police, call the police. When incidents occur that involve gunfire, we make sure that this information is put out on social media in a timely manner so that our Elgin community knows what is happening. Maybe there's something that they saw or heard. We know we can't solve crimes alone. Our Elgin community's eyes and ears can help us. One simple thing that you can do to help us is install a camera on your house. It doesn't have to be something expensive. It could be something as simple as a doorbell camera. I can't tell you how many times we've gone out to cases and residents have shared their video surveillance footage with us that helped us piece together the clues of what happened and helped solve the case. Our best ally is the community. We are part of the community, the community is part of us, and working together in partnership will make Elgin better.